the recent results with daratumumab, uh, Darzalix, in the Castor study are being presented today at ASCO. Um, and it really is are the f first uh, randomized results with an anti-CD38 antibody, the first randomized results that we're presenting uh, in the Castor study which is a combination of a Velcade regimen with daratumumab. And the results are truly astounding with a hazard ratio of 0.39 uh, in the relapse refractory multiple myeloma setting is something that uh, really surpasses what we've seen before with other therapies. It also uh, begins to establish anti the anti-CD30 antibody and daratumumab as a key component um, of regimens for multiple myeloma. We're also going forward with uh, frontline studies. Those are already started in, in phase three, uh, both in the transplant setting as also in the non-transplant setting. Uh, and we're interested even in pushing daratumumab uh, even earlier in the treatment paradigm to smoldering multiple myeloma, where we've already started a phase two study. So we're very excited about some of the things that we're seeing with daratumumab, not just the response rate in multiple myeloma, but also that it appears to have some effects uh, on the immune system and the immune response to tumors. What we see is that daratumumab can actually clear some of the immunosuppressive cells that exist in the tumor microenvironment. And what we also see is that um, there can be an increase in the T cells that may help to fight tumors. So we're actively exploring daratumumab uh, in an immunologic way uh, to have an impact on tumors in, my, in, in myeloma as well as in other tumor types. Our goal at Janssen, particularly in the diseases where we, we really have great expertise like multiple myeloma, is to eliminate the disease, eliminate the disease entirely, which means that we're aiming for cure, um, and we believe that with daratumumab, with the other mechanisms that have been working so well in multiple myeloma, and, and potentially new drugs, and some which we're going to have entering the clinic uh, within the next year, that perhaps we can get to things that look like cures. The other thing, though, that we're doing, which is very important, is what we call disease interception. And our belief, uh, which has been shown in numerous cases, is that as tumors evolve, as they get more advanced, they get harder and harder to treat. Um, and that is because they've become more complex and more adaptable when you, when you start applying therapy. So our goal is actually to move these therapies in even earlier line settings. And that's the idea of us doing uh, a smoldering multiple myeloma trial, uh, which we have a phase two trial ongoing. But we potentially could start even moving it earlier into the MGUS space if we can identify patients who are at high risk of progressing. So we, we're believers. We think that we can eliminate the disease both through cure and potentially through disease interception.